Welcome to another episode of Can You Fail It? Today we are going to try hand sanitizer. Who would put hand sanitizer in their mouth? I don't know that anybody would put hand sanitizer in their mouth, but what if you're like rubbing it on your hands and you touch your face before the police pull you over, or even if the police officer uses it? All right, well, we'll find out. Can you fail it? So we always start by doing a blank test to make sure that we've got no alcohol in our mouths, no interfering substances, using these standard breathalyzers. Looking good, I got zero. Zero. Okay, all right, time for hand sanitizer. Now, for the sake of science, I'm not gonna wear gloves this time. Kyla, you're wearing gloves, I'm not wearing gloves. There you go, a little hand sanitizer. That's a lot of hand sanitizer. Well, that's one and, a, and about a half. So, now the point is, it's not just on your hands, right? You have to touch your face, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I breathed it in. I could feel it on my lips. Ooh, we're getting something. 0.072, that's almost a fail. Well, you'd be in trouble for that. You'd end up with a driving prohibition in British Columbia with that. I got 0.158, so I would be... Um, you would be arrested I'd be arrested and detained, station. and uh, I'd be facing an impaired driving charge. At this point, the police would assume that I was drunk. And important to note, you can fail it without even ingesting it. Yeah, all I did actually was like, I just rubbed it on my lips. I could feel it on my lips, so it was there, it and it was still liquid. Face. Yeah, amazing. Can you fail it? Hand sanitizer, confirm yes. you can fail it. If you have a suggestion for anything we should try on Can You Fail It, you can just type it into one of the comment boxes below, or you can send us an email, or give us a call at Acumen Law Corporation, VancouverCriminalLaw.com. My name's Paul Doroshenko. This is Kyla Lee. Thank you for watching Can You Fail It?